Hi everybody, good morning. It's bright and early on Saturday morning here in Nova Scotia. Oh, I see there is a swimmer in the background. <laughs> Look at that. Everybody's trying to get their exercise in bright and early this morning because it's gonna be very hot today. So I walked you down to the lake this morning so we could practice scales together. And uh, so I'd like you to go get your harp and why don't we break down how to practice right hand scales step by step with me. Okay, we're going to be playing a C major scale with your right hand today. So make sure that your harp is tuned to C major and we'll be ready to go. Now remember, a scale is just a pattern of eight strings in a row. So we'll be playing a C scale, which means we'll be starting on middle C and playing the eight strings in a row all the way up to your treble C and then we'll also practice coming back down. Oh, look at all the swimmers in the background. Isn't that fun? <laughs> okay, so let's get started. In the right hand, we'll need to place our four fingers on C, D, E, and F. So hover close to the strings, open, and place your four fingers on C, D, E, F. Watch that your thumb is nice and high on the strings and your fingers are nice and low. Let's practice that one more time. Be careful that you don't place your fingers high and then slide them down into position. We want to stick the landing with that beautiful formation. Okay, let's try that again. Hover, open, and place. And just give those strings a little squeeze. Now, let's start with C with finger four, and I want you to close that finger four all the way into the palm of the hand. Good, have a nice follow through. Now finger three, all the way into the palm. Finger two, all the way into the palm. Beautiful. Okay, now keep your thumb nice and stable on the string and allow your finger four and five to open and cross under to the G. Now this is an important spot. I want you to make sure that finger two and three stay in the palm of your hand, okay? Be careful that you don't cross under too high, which feels very cramped, and then finger two and three are likely to escape out. Okay, so here I am with two and three in the palm. Finger four opens and places nice and low on G. Just hang out here for a minute and relax into that position. Now, push the thumb closed. Good. Now you shift the hand back, open the hand, and place A, B, C all at the same time as a group. Good. Now you're in a group of four again. Close finger four, follow through all the way into the palm. Close three, all the way into the palm. And two, all the way into the palm. And then we'll do close the thumb. Good, nice job. Let's do that one more time and then we'll add uh, the descending scale. Okay, let's go back to the beginning, C, D, E, F. Hover, open, and place your four fingers. Good job. Close finger four all the way into the palm. Close three. Close two. Now slowly allow finger four and five to open and place low on that G. Okay, two and three are staying in the palm. Push the thumb closed. Good. Now shift the hand back, open and place A, B, C as a group. Good job. Close four, all the way into the palm. Finger three, all the way into the palm. Two. Nice job. Now reopen the fingers and hover over B, A, G. Now the thumb is going to play and at the same time place B, A, G all as a group. Good job. Now this is a, a special little, little detail that I want you to do coming up. You're going to play finger two and at the same time pop your thumb up. So we play and pop. Okay, that get, gets the thumb up nice and high so when we cross over you'll be high on the string. Play finger three. And now tip the thumb over nice and high to your F. Good job. Notice again that finger two and three are staying in the palm of the hand. And you've got really good distance between your thumb and your finger four. Nice job. Close finger four. Now reopen the fingers and hover them over E, D, C. 
good. Play the thumb and place E, D, C as a group. Close two, close three, and close four. Beautiful. Let's do the whole thing one more time. Now you might be working with a teacher that, and you might do things a little bit differently and that's fine. Uh, maybe you'll get some new little ideas to add to your scales or maybe if you're brand new, this is a really good starting place. Let's get ready. Hover, open, and place. Relax the hand. Give the strings a little squeeze. Now close finger four, close three, close two, Nice job. Now think carefully. You're going to open finger four and five. Allow them to place. Uh, allow the finger four to place low on the G. Finger two and three stay in the palm. Thumb closes. Shift back. Open the hand and place A, B, C as a group. Good. Close four. Close three. Close two. Reopen the hand, swing the fingers open and hover over B, A, G. Now play the thumb and place B, A, G as a group. Good job. Now remember this is play and pop. So play finger two, pop the thumb, play finger three, and then tip the thumb over nice and high on the F. Close four, swing the fingers open and hover over E, D, C. Play your thumb and place E, D, C as a group. Close two, close three, and close four. Beautiful job. Thank you so much for joining me this morning uh, at, at the lake. I hope you have a beautiful day.